Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're looking at fire alarms, and this time it's an alarm from Shelly, and it's Wi-Fi connected. So let's have a look. Now, Shelly did send me this device free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video, and they have no idea about what I'm about to say. So the Shelly Plus Smoke is battery operated, running off a CR123 battery. It's got an LED indicator. It's got low battery warning. It's got a hush mode, a test function, and is DIN EN14604 certified. It has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Size-wise, it's 86 millimeters in diameter and 31 millimeters in depth. It can be mounted either on the ceiling or the wall. It's got a lifespan of 10 years. The battery lifespan is an expected five years. Wi-Fi range is up to 30 meters indoors. So let's see what we get inside the box. We've got the smoke alarm itself. We've got a 3M sticker. Then if we remove this little piece, some screws and anchors and some instructions. On the top, we've got a button and obviously we've got our siren speaker over there. If we flip it over, we can see that we've got this base. So this base just basically moves. You need to somehow get, ah, it's the inside piece. There we go. So we pull that off. Battery is in over there. We've got the little protection device. So we can pull that out, which then activates the battery. There we go. We can see we've got a blue light inside of there. So in order to put it into the pairing mode, we press this button three times. One, two, three. And there you can see the little green LED is now flashing and it's ready to pair. So we open up our Shelly app. We go add widget. And there we go. You see it's already popped up. So now we can just go add. It'll start adding the device to our Wi-Fi, getting the device information. So the Shelly devices now use Bluetooth to offer an easy connection method for setting up and adding it to your Wi-Fi. So it's saying it can't find the device. So we'll just give it a name in the meantime. We'll add a new room. There we can see it has actually joined the network now. Give it a room name. We're going to put it in the kitchen. Select the kitchen and add the device. Now, as you can see, it's still showing pending connection. So I actually needed to press the pairing button three times again on the Shelly and then it connected. So there we can see now it's connected. So now we can open our Home Assistant, go over to Settings, Devices and Services, and there we go, it's showing. So we can just add it. Do you want to set up the Shelly Plus? Yes, we do. Uh, we'll put that in the kitchen once again, and we'll finish. First, when I added to Home Assistant, it didn't show the sensor, but after 30 seconds or so, it did pop up. Now I'm gonna set up the automations for the smoke alarm. The first one, is to send me a message on my phone the moment the smoke starts detecting smoke. So all we're gonna do is add action device and I'm gonna select the Simon's iPhone. There we go over there. And we're going to send a message. Fire and we'll just say alert. And we can save that as smoke. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm gonna say if the battery is running low, so I'm gonna say the Shelly Plus smoke, and we'll see over here, battery level changes. And we'll say if it's below, let's say 30%, then I want to know, we'll just say for one minute, we'll give it a duration. And we'll then say, I also want to send a message to my iPhone saying smoke battery low. So now I'm just blowing a little bit of smoke up there from a smoke machine and we'll see how long it takes to respond. So one thing I've noticed with these smoke alarms, it does go into a sleep mode. So it's not continuously chatting to Home Assistant. So you won't see updates on a regular basis in the Home Assistant app. But the moment it detected smoke, it then sends that response over to both the Shelly app and to Home Assistant. So once the siren starts going on the device, it takes approximately 10 seconds before you see the notification both on the Shelly app 
and in home assistant which i think is pretty acceptable so overall if you're looking for a smoke alarm i think this is a pretty good option i do trust shelly they are a really great company and they're producing some amazing devices at the moment if you've enjoyed this video please let me know and do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now